Is that the box? I need the box. Give me the goods. Alien rope. So let me guess. So where this thing is gone? Now here are two items. Okay. Not to you. Alien rope. And then we fucking go. Fuck. Moving on. Hey, there's Kalnus. Now, where's Remy? The Kalnus? They must have brought it in while we were on our way here. And how the fuck did you even Their do that? Their transportation technology is actually quite impressive. <laughs> you call that impressive? Uh, stop. This is impressive. Who told you to point guns at them? I am the chief director of this base. My name is Mila Bakhtai. Puncher! Welcome to our planet, friends from the stars. I don't like her. Puncher. So you're the one in charge of this operation then? Puncher! Yes. I hope you will forgive my subordinate's disrespect. Huh? No, uh, likewise. Edge, did you hear what she said? She just called herself Bakhtai. And? Ugh. Are you... Oh, okay, okay, yes. got it. Klaus is my husband. Or rather, he was my husband. Foolish sentimentality kept me from changing my last name. What this could the fuck be are you doing? difficult. Yeah. What's wrong, Mary? She's a bad woman, I, I bet. I don't like that woman. That makes two of us. I don't blame you for hating me. I'm not asking you to understand, but I had no choice. You had no choice? What do you mean by that? She kill him. <sighs> we fought a lot of monsters to get here. You people call them test subjects. And this girl, Miracle? She tells me you kept her locked up and that you did work on her too. That's bad mojo, you boys. You made the decisions. You had a choice. Yeah, that's it. I understand the dogs that my work down. here might be considered inhumane. The guilt was what pushed Klaus to leave this place. But unfortunately, I have crossed the point of no return. There is I don't something like I must protect. No matter how much shame it brings me. And what's that? Your professional name? Ooh. Certainly not. I must protect our planet Earth. Yeah, sure. The situation on our Earth is very different from the future you hail from. Our energy is nearly depleted. In fact, it may not even last for more than a few years. W wait a minute! You just said the future! What Despite the, the uniform, I am a scientist. Such a deduction is not beyond my means. Though I must admit, Miss Sayanji's information was the key to making that deduction. What, did what have you, you do done with her? Raimi? Is she safe? I assure you, I have not harmed her in any way. She seemed rather exhausted from her ordeal, so I've given her a room to rest in. Don't believe her. I... I see. Don't believe her, Edge. She's trying to trick us. If you, you see? allow me to continue. No. To solve the looming energy crisis, our world has its eyes on a certain type of energy. Dark matter? The most powerful force known to man. Ooh, nuclear. If you're from the future, I'm sure you know what that is. Nuclear power man. The most powerful energy in 1957. Nuclear. Exactly. Ooh, nice one to catch. But what will come of relying on an energy source that could destroy the world? Look, dudes, you That's have the sun. I'm here. I seek a the safer, wind. more complete source of energy. I research extraterrestrial technology for the sake of that ideal. Look, he's, that may be, but I cannot agree with your methods. Yes, I understand. However, for the people of Earth, and for the sake of all those yet unborn. Ah, fuck. Wait, are you? She is lying a bit. 
The world in which you come from surely must have surmounted its energy problems long ago. I mean, they fuck up the Indeed. planet. I am sure the people of your time live upon their earth in perfect harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. The people of this earth need extraterrestrial technology. An energy source so perfect, it brings with it no pollution. We have the sun, solar power, wind A power. A non-polluting energy source? The hell do you need more? What if, and I stress if, what if you had that power right now? Would this planet... If we had that power, the planet would surely remain blue forever. That is what I and everyone else here wish for. I call bullshit. You're saying we could change the future? We could. Hey, you're saying we the Earth could stay blue, stay beautiful. Absolutely. If you would but help us. Supposing we can never get back to our own Earth. If we could make a better future. Edge, what the fuck are you doing, man? Yes. A beautiful future. You're going right into the waves, man. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. All right. What do we have to do? You idiot. <laughs> How can we save this planet? How can we save this planet's future? Mr. Edge, salvation, man. Do you him. understand what it could mean to alter the course of the future? History could end up changing completely. Edge, this could affect you directly. And it's not just you. Something may happen to Miss Raimi as well. Yeah, man, don't you know about butterfly effect? I know. Effect? I know. But I also know what happens to Earth. My Earth. With its uninhabitable surface. That broken Earth is my home. And even if I could never go back there. This is the least I could do. Edge. <laughs> Your ship, the Kalnus, right? It's quite a wonderful vessel. I'm going to be as direct as I can. Will you allow me to analyze its control core? Don't let it do it. Control core? She must mean the exolithium crystal. It's true. They're an absolute necessity for the generation of mass energy. Okay. Uh, promise me this. You have to stop your inhumane research on extraterrestrials. If you encounter any more, you have to promise to work together with them. And most importantly, I need your word that you'll do nothing to contaminate this beautiful planet. I wouldn't have it any other way. That is the very goal of our research. I still don't trust her. We can trust you. Right? No, you cannot, Edge. Please, stop being an idiot. Stop being an asshole. We fuck it up. I mean, he fucked it up. I have nothing to do with this. Thank you very much. Okay, now how the fuck are we gonna fly without that? Ready the equipment. We will begin experiments immediately. Ma'am. Please, come with me. She gonna fuck us right in the back. Yeah, you do my all. You were fucking idiots. Bunch, you go invisible. Kick our ass. What's in here? Please, feel free to relax in here, along with Miss Sayanji. It's a trap, Raimi. guys. She's inside? Come, step inside. It's a fucking trap. I warn you, it was a fucking trap. You didn't trust me, and you fuck us over. Miller, what, what did you do to her? The light was. Huh? The room, it moved. It's no moving. way, Miller. What are you doing? 
Like I said before, I have not harmed Miss Sanji in any way. All I did was calm her down a bit, and she told me so many interesting things. For instance, Mr. Maverick, I learned that you and your crew came from the future. And about your antimatter engine. You tricked us! Of course he did, That's you not idiot. a very gentlemanly way to put it. If my experiments are successful, everything will be within our country's grasp. There will be no more need for inhumane research. What? Of course we'll be happy to work together with those from other worlds. As their rightful rulers, we will rule them and they will serve us. See, and Ed, rest assured, did? this planet will not be contaminated. We will no longer need to damage the Earth in order to destroy our enemies. Mad bitch. <laughs> At least you're no. not doing the ho 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 Why? ho. Why? Th that's... That looks like very bad news. Horrible news. We fucked. Okay, what the fuck is that? Somebody grab a hey, Jeff or Lim. What is that thing? A canyon. It's an antimatter reactor. Okay, I bet they that's normally super bad. They normally use crystals to control pair annihilation, thus producing tremendous amounts of energy. But that reactor is far too crude and primitive to function properly. Proper control of the pair annihilation will be impossible. An overload is inevitable. Oh, she's listening to well, this. Aren't we being tart? Ah, I'd appreciate it if you didn't underestimate me. Oh, we're doing it now. I built the ultimate system together with Klaus. And we are the brightest minds of the century. Yes, and our precious son is just the same. Ah, Lord. Kevin. Our beautiful, beautiful Kevin. Your mother is going to breathe new Kevin life into you now. And don't worry, I am sure your father will join us. And death, I bet. I can hear you. I can hear your first cry. My beautiful son. Mad bitch. <laughs> She's insane. She's been insane. She was insane. All along. For a long time, man. What are we to do, Mr. Ed? If the reactor overloads, it will be the end of us all. Well, either we can kick the door or just, I don't know, someone grab gravy. What am I supposed to do? I think I have an idea. We can still kick the door, do something. Or, I don't know, talk. Okay, face not saying anything. Liam, what about you? I hate these signs, keep me pounding and pounding. Yeah, horrible signs, eh? What about you, Mirko? For five minutes, I'm scared. Okay, cool. Remy? I'm not grabbing her. Someone do that for me. Edge? Hey, what up, ma'am? Thank God. Uh, what happened? That's right! I was captured and then they. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, no, I, I, uh, I didn't mean to. Edge, you perv! Oh, right in the, right so in the face. So all that happened while I was out? Yep. Even if we were able to stop the reactor, it's too late now. There's going to be a massive pair annihilation. You're gonna blow up the whole planet. What's going to happen to us? We're gonna escape. The pair annihilation will reduce this base. No, the entire planet. To nothing more than formless energy. Isn't there that anything? Cool. Anything we can do to stop it? It's too late. We have no hands left to play. Hmm. They opened That's it themselves. Analogy. A Pandora's box they have no hope of closing. But it's not a box they could have opened alone. I let them open it. I gave them the key. Because we're dumb. Idiot. It's all my fault! No! 
Edge, you did it because you wanted to save the future. That's no excuse at all. I mean, change the future. You need to save anything. Look at what I've done. The Earth is going to be destroyed. Again. It's all. Second it's time, all my but fault. different means. Edge, this is not the time nor the place for you to be talking like that. Face. You have a duty to perform. Don't leave it unfulfilled. Man, that's my face. Great words there. You have to make a decision, Mr. Edge. Not as a guilty man, but as a captain. Our captain. The captain of the insane crew. Bacchus. Why do you keep pronouncing his, his name oddly? We, he says a bunch of the Bacchus. We have to leave this place now. Yeah, but how? We how are you to gonna do it? Get the hell off this planet. And how are we gonna perform that? Bring me and rejoin the party. I will slap Edge in the face. 